want to be able to jump rope like a pro, well stay tuned and I'm show you how. All right, everybody, if you don't know by now, I love jump roping. So jump roping is a very good cardio workout. Um, get your heart rate up really fast, really quickly. And also it's a good leg workout, good calf workout. Um, and also it's a good way to burn fat. The thing is a lot of people want to jump rope, but they have no idea on how to jump rope. Or if they do jump rope, they look straight up awkward doing it. So today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial, some tips on how you can jump rope and look like a pro doing it. So I gave these tips to my mom and she started out you know the whole awkward you know couldn't even jump rope couldn't even coach over the rope but with my tip she was able to look like a pro when she was jump roping first and foremost when you're jump roping you do not want to be on the grass that's why i'm over here on the slab of concrete you want to be on a hard surface right and let me mention that it is always going to be easier to jump rope if you have a thin wire or some sort of speed rope right so if you want to see the one i use or the ones i recommend link will be down in the description box below so once you have your hard surface and then your speed rope, um, this is where we're going to get into the actual technique of jump roping. So a lot of people, when they grab the first jump rope, they do it like this. All right? can barely get over. It looks kind of awkward. It's weird. So let me give you some tips on how to do it. So first and foremost, we always start with the jump rope right beneath our heels, below our heels right here. And then you want to have your fingertips on the grips, right? So don't grip it like you're about to punch somebody. Just grip it lightly right at the bottom so that you can spin it easily. Because if we grip it hard, it, it makes it kind of awkward. So grip it at the bottom very lightly. And then one of the biggest tips I have and that you need to remember is that we want to stay on our toes at all times. So don't jump flat footed. I mean, it's possible but you'll get much faster speed if you stay on your toes. So stay on the balls of your toes. So practice just jumping up like this on the balls of your feet. Then once you get comfortable with that, it gets a lot easier. So this is me jumping on the tips of my feet, the balls of my toes. You see how light I'm staying? The key here is to stay as light as possible. Now this is me jumping flat foot. No, stay on the tip of your toes, all right? So another thing to do when you're doing this is that you wanna keep your arms closer in. Some people do this right here, it's weird. Right? Unless you have a super long rope, then you don't need to do that. So keep your arms close to your sides, keep it close in just like this, stay on the balls of your feet. Then also remember when you're turning the rope, you don't turn with your arm, you turn with your wrist. All you do is flick your wrist, flick your wrist, flick your wrist, flick your wrist when you turn. So two bad things, like I said, don't have your arms out and don't turn with your arms. All right, so keep your arms in. Every time you turn, turn with your wrist like this and a circle of wrist motion like that and stay on the balls of your toes. Also, you wanna try and get a jump every single rope. So that makes it a little bit harder if you're practicing, you can start off and do this, but try and do it like this, right? And then once you get more advanced, you can start doing tricks with it. You can start doing one leg, or you can start doing double unders, right? So that is my beginner's tutorial on how to jump rope, implement those tips, and I promise you your jump rope technique and speed will improve by a lot. So give those tips a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yep.